I recently made a video about Winboat, a tool that lets you run Windows on Linux by creating a containerized Windows virtual machine. And honestly, it's a great tool. But if you try running anything that needs real graphics power like Microsoft Teams, Adobe Premiere, or even a simple game, it just doesn't work the way you'd hope. So if you want a proper Windows experience and still keep your Linux setup, the only clean solution is to dual boot. That's exactly what I'm doing today. I'll walk you through every step, BIOS settings, installing Windows, installing Linux, and getting both systems to live together on the same machine without headaches. I'm using an older laptop for this demo, so I have to press F2 to access the BIOS, where I will disable secure boot, change the boot mode to legacy, and make sure that the SATA ports are enabled. Then press F10 and select yes to save and exit. Now, before we install Linux, we need to install Windows first. It's always recommended because Windows tends to overwrite the bootloader if you install it later. For that, go to the Microsoft website and download the ISO image for the Windows 11. While Windows is downloading, of course, we also need a Windows license. And this is the part of the video where I want to thank today's sponsor, Keysfan. They provide a ton of useful products licenses at discount prices. You will need to get a Windows 11 Pro key, and Keysfan offers official activation keys at a much lower price than buying directly from Microsoft. Besides the Windows key, since you're installing Windows, you'll probably also need an Office key, and Keysfan has you covered with their Office 2021 Pro Plus license as well. And the best part is that they were kind enough to give me an extra discount code for you. You can use SoftWeb50 for the Windows key to get 50% off, and SoftWeb62 to get 62% off on the Office series. By using the link in the description, you'll see all the discounted prices right away. Now let me show you how simple the purchase process is. Just add the license you want to your cart. Apply the coupon code. Fill up the form with your email and your data. And once you're done, click on the place order button and then check out using PayPal or a credit card. Once the payment goes through, the activation key is sent instantly to your email. So if you're setting up a fresh system like we're doing today, or if you just need to activate Windows affordably, check the links in the description. Now that we've got the key, let's move forward with the process. We need to create a bootable USB using the Windows ISO you downloaded. If the machine you're preparing is running Windows, I recommend using a tool like Rufus. You just download it, plug in your USB stick, select the ISO and start the process. If you're doing this from Linux, you can use a similar tool called Ventoy. It's super easy. Install Ventoy on your USB drive once, then simply copy the ISO file onto it. That's all you need to do. Boot from your Windows USB installer. Choose your language and keyboard layout, then add the license key you've got from Keysfan. When you get to the partition screen, select your drive and install Windows normally. Don't worry about creating Linux partitions now, we'll handle that later. Let the installation finish and once Windows boots for the first time, go through the initial setup. Now that Windows is installed, we need to make room for Linux. Open the Start menu, search for Disk Management and shrink the main Windows partition. I recommend leaving at least 30 GB free, depending on which Linux distribution you're installing. Format the extra space and leave it unallocated. Next, go to Ubuntu website and download the ISO image and follow the same steps to make a bootable USB. Then when you reach the partitioning step, choose Install alongside Windows Boot Manager. Finish the installation and once it reboots, you should see the bootloader. This is your menu for choosing between Linux and Windows. That's it for this video. You can now work in your preferred environment on the same machine, depending on what you need at the moment. And don't forget, the Keysfan discount codes and links are in the description if you need Windows or Office for your setup. Thanks for watching and see you next time.